Hi everyone, this is Olajide from CTF Security and welcome to another YouTube video on Computer Tech Forum. In today's video, I will showcase an alternative method of gaining higher privileges on an account by building upon a concept we previously discussed. If you recall, we released a video some time ago that focused on misconfigured SSA key. In that video, we demonstrated the risk associated with misconfigured SSH keys and how it could potentially grant unauthorized users elevated privilege on a system. However, today, we are going to take a deeper dive into an alternative method that can provide an attacker with even greater access and control over an account. By leveraging the power of lateral movement within a compromised system, we will explore how an attacker can exploit sweet misconfiguration to escalate their privilege and potentially gain access to critical system resources. Now a quick one, I would like to remind everyone to always operate within legal boundaries and obtain proper authorization before performing any security testing or assessment. It is essential to respect privacy and follow ethical guidelines and use the knowledge gained responsibly. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we have our IP address. I'm just going to grab our IP address and um, I'm going to open a new terminal. And from the new terminal, we are going to SSH into our low privilege account, which is um, SSH Jan. Jan is a user account, and uh, we're going to supply the IP address. Paste it right here. We'll press the enter key. Okay, so this is asking us if we are sure we want to continue connecting using this SSH key. So I'm just going to type yes and uh, press the enter key. And um, we get to supply our passwords. Our password for this low privilege account is Armando. So that can be found in the old video we released. So you can check it out from there. And um, we're logged in into Jan's account. So I'm just going to clear this. If we notice, let's try sudo-l. You know that this account, Jan, does not belong to Mando. Sorry, user Jan does not belong to sudo on the basic. And uh, if we try to cut the slash etsy slash password, Sorry about that. Password. You can see that we have Jan, which is 1001, and we have K, which is 1000. Both are running the bin bash shell. Um, so that what I'm going to do is to try to escalate my privilege into K's account and um, Possibly from K account, I can gain the root access. So what I'm going to do is to, okay, let's make this kind of bigger. All right, good. So I'll clear this. Now let's see the slash. That is to the root directory of the machine. And um, if I ls, now let's see the home. And uh, let's see what we have on the home. So we have the Jan and the K's account. So let's see the into K account. And uh, on the K's account, if we ls to list whatever item we have on this directory, you will notice that we have the pass.back. And if I list the permission, You notice that the pass.back is only writable and readable by the case account only. Every other permission is null. So what I'm going to do right now is let's try to view it. Let's say cat pass.back. Then we get uh, permission denied. So what I can do is try to find 
if we have any file that can give us privilege to the case account first of all check the suite binaries to see if there's any that we can use to gain privilege access to the case account so to find that i'll use the command find uh, on the root directory uh, the type of file we're looking for we're looking for file and the permission we're looking for is uh, suite is 4000 so i'm just going to specify 4000 right here then we want to redirect uh, errors into the dev slash null and I'll hit the enter key so we just give it some minute for uh, the program to find all available um, suite binaries on this system so not forgetting our objective is to uh, do a lateral movement from Jan's account to K's account then I can see I can gain the root access from the case account because it looks like the case account has kind of pseudo permission. So we'll try to leverage on that. Good. So we're getting our suite binaries. Uh, we can see that we have a few suite binaries right here. The one that kind of interests me more is the, um, what is it? The Veeam vim basic uh, this vim is kind of a text editor so we can use it to view the pass.back file since it have the suite privilege uh, by the way uh, if you're wondering what the suite privilege is uh, the suite is a permission flag on unis like operating system that allows a user to execute file with the permission of the file owner rather than the permission of the user executing it so we can execute the vim command using the suite binary to access the pass.back since we have no initial access to that file. So what I'm going to do is to use the vim.basic and access the um, pass.bak. So and we can see this is our password. So I'm just going to grab it. Let's grab our password. So copy, so I can exit this using Ctrl Z and uh, let's paste this first because it looks like the edge is missing. Okay, okay. Yeah, everything is okay. So okay, clear. So I'll try to switch to K's account and um, I can supply the password we just got and press the enter key. And just like that, we are into K's account. So if you try the K account sudo dash L to see what kind of privilege we have. So I'm going to supply the K's password. So same password and press the enter key and you can see that uh, keys can run all command on the basic tool machine um, so what i'm going to do is still leverage on the vim suite command and in order to do this uh, before we gain the root access i'll go to a site uh, we call it uh, the gtf open so what i'm going to do is to look for the vim and uh, let's search for Vim. Let's specify our suite. Then from the suite, we can specify the Vim. So I'm just going to click on suite right here. And uh, it's going to load our payload that we can use to gain root privilege on this case account. So I'm going to scroll down and you can see it's sudo. And it says if the binary is allowed to run as super user by sudo, it does not drop the elevator privilege and may be used to access the file system, escalate or maintain privilege. And we have our payload right here. So I'm just going to grab the payload, copy. And uh, on our machine, on the case account, I'll just paste this right here. 
Okay, so we'll press enter. And automatically it gives us uh, the root access. You can see that our symbol here has changed from the dollar symbol. So what we're going to do is to try to spawn an interactive shell using Python. We're going to use Python 3. So I'm going to use the command Python 3. Uh, we specify the command, uh, which is the import PTY and uh, we're going to use the PTY.spawn to access the bin bash. And let's see if this works. Okay, I think we have uh, an error. So I'm going to use that again. Uh, Python 3, let's see where the error is from. Uh, we use the C command and we assess the import PTY. And uh, we're going to terminate this and we say PTY.spawn bracket and we're going to specify our bin bash we can close the bracket and close our code we press the enter key and you can see that we now have the root at basic as our shell right here and if i say who am i and you can see that we are now root of the system and we can um cd slash root and uh, let's see what we have on root we can cd root and dir let's see what we have and we can cut flag.txt and you can see, congratulations, you have completed this challenge. There are two ways, um, there are two ways that I am aware of to gain a shell and two ways to privilege escalation. I encourage you to find them all. If you are in the target audience, newcomer to pen testing, I hope you learned something. A few takeaways from this challenge should be that little bit of information you can find can be valuable or sometimes you will need to find several different pieces of information and combine them to make them useful. In this video, we have leveraged the suite permission on the vim.basic to view files that we do not have permission to read for the JAN account, ultimately granting ourselves access to keys and further gaining root privilege by further exploiting the vim basic pseudo privilege on the case account. Now, it is crucial to highlight that this demonstration serve as educational purpose and reminder for system administrator to properly configure and secure systems. We hope you find this video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more exciting